Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. How What's are up? you guys doing? We're about to take over. <laughs> I'm sounding like mommy of Lagos. Do you know who mommy of Lagos is? Who's mommy of Lagos? Bob Risky. <laughs> Why do you have to be sounding like Bob Risky? I'm yeah. about to take over. I don't have anything against Bob Risky, but be yourself, mate. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for your love on our previous video. We're very excited about Vlogmas as well. Yeah, she promised you Vlogmas. Thank I, you for the support. I didn't, I didn't promise you nothing. I saw all the comments and we're going to be giving you guys back to back. She's going to be giving you guys Babe, back to back. I'm going to do <laughs> <laughs> I can't work for me. Oh, yeah, she's going to share you one year. I'm going to work for you. I'm going to tell you so. So, so that you won't hold me, you won't, you won't hold me and be like, but you promised us vlogs every day. Vlog mass is coming. Vlog, Get ready. Vlog mass. We're about to take over. Wait, anyway. Who are you taking over? Show by your dream. I will have you go take over, take over. I like don't do it. Ah, I'm not sorry. The Marapala of all over too. Oh my god, mm. guys. So, I experienced something today in my very first time of living in the UK for the past. For over eight I years. think I should mention before Emma Binumi Dara Moleno. I just want to mention that we are not talking about religion, we're just talking about something else. So, this is my personal experience, uh -huh. yeah. So, so, I'm experiencing something that has never happened to me before mm. in my over eight years of living in the UK mm. like, never ever happened. So, I was on the bus today. Wow, you've been here for eight years, yes. Wow. Yeah. Oh no. Hey, bad dagba. Hey, pretty dagba. Oh, the adult. Ah, oh no. Hey, bad. Skibulu. I'm gonna stop. Sorry. Yes, yeah, so I've so. been here for over eight years. I'm not your mate. You're so not, me. Yeah, yeah, my friend. Yeah, wow. I need come on one leg. Daddy, you want? Oh, to go to be on. You to try. You try. Anyway, so here is my experience and. I'm not here to attack anybody mm. regardless but i was on the bus today and this man was on the bus with me mm. and he was preaching mm. so loudly mm. such that other people around were telling him to please reduce the volume of his voice mm. and the driver was also trying to tell him that oh like what you're doing is disturbing all the passengers like mm. you can't do this on the public transport mm. but this man didn't listen it was just all and on about preaching and mm. there's absolutely nothing wrong with preaching don't mm. get me wrong mm. but the way he was carrying on about it mm. i was a little bit concerned and ashamed mm. somehow why why why, why were because you the driver had to stop okay all right they had to stop the bus mm. and get him off the bus mm. i don't think Religion should get us to that point mm. of, you know, other people looking at us weirdly. Yeah. I just felt some type of way. I said, oh my gosh, I have to share with you guys today because the way things are done back at home is not the way things are done here. Oh, you didn't even say anything about, you know, the person being Nigerian or... Oh, yeah, of course it was Nigerian. Oh, okay, Yeah, right. and he had a megaphone. He wow. was preaching the word of God on the bus and they had to get him off the bus. Wow. And this is not this is the first time of me experiencing this. I can even said, oh, like I've seen people. No, I've seen, on the a, I've, I've seen a couple of even on the like different buses more than two times. Yeah, but me, I'm like I'm used to seeing stuff like that mm. from Nigeria. But the thing is, Nigeria is different from the UK, and um, you just have to be like you have to be considerate. That's the right. That's the word I will yeah. use. You have to be considerate and think about other people. Other people. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you can. If you're a Christian, it's fine. If you're a Muslim, it's fine. If you're a traditionalist, it's fine. Uh, you can believe in whatever you believe in. That's right. That's right. But you can't, because they see it as you, like, you know, it's one thing to, to flash something, and it's another thing to actually bring that thing into people's faces. That's what people don't like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can, yeah. you can preach if you want to, but by the time you start increasing the volume and, like, shouting in people's ears, nope, it's not everyone that wants to hear what you're saying. Yeah. Most people don't even believe in God. I've met a lot of white people that don't even believe True. in God. So, I mean, believe in whatever you want to believe in, but don't just be considerate. Think yeah. about other people. Yeah. Don't be selfish. You want, you're preaching about Jesus. What if I don't want to hear it? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I don't think you're in any position to judge me. So, you should just be considerate. I, was, I saw something online today as well mm. about um, a nurse. So, maybe I'll, 
an healthcare um, professional. professional that was working with an elderly lady. Mm. And um, at one point, they said she started praying for that elderly lady. So she was sacked. <gasps> and she came in with that visa. And once you lose your job, you lose your visa. And if you can't get another job, then you have to go back home. Oh so, God. I mean, they use the word deported, but I don't, I don't think... They don't have to deport you. You just have to go back anyway. Or you, you become illegal in the country. So, you should just be... Um, Wow. This video is mainly for the people that are just moving or you're planning to come. Yeah. You need to, the way they're telling you to do research and make inquiries, people are not just talking. Mm. At this point, jack by if you have to. Yeah. Like, what are you even waiting for in that in your country with our, you know, greedy politicians? If you have the means to leave, leave. But wherever you're going, do research, yeah. make inquiries. Yes. Don't just go there and be behaving like uh, Olodo. Yeah. It's not right. Yeah. It might lead you to, you know, it might, it, might, it might lead you to where you don't you, you don't even expect. Yeah. You know, like a very dark black man, we always say, you go learn. Mm. And you might have to learn in a hard way. In a very hard way. So now, she, you know, she's lost her job. According to, to the write-up, she's been deported. Imagine, to her, she's just been nice, praying for that lady. If that was me, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have taken it to the next level because I would have wanted, like, okay, you're just praying for me. You're, you're concerned about my health. Yeah. But, you know, people don't, you have to understand that, like, races are different, mm. beliefs are different. You know, don't just bring that, you know, African attitude to another, they might not tolerate it. Yeah. And each organization you know? yeah. also have code of, code of conduct. Yeah. So, there are some that will not even allow you to yeah. say that you're a Christian or whatever. Even the Christians here, yeah, I'm sure the way they pray to God is way different from the way we pray to God back home. Of course. And then you're there praying for a sick person, screaming, shouting. Probably she was doing shit, blah, 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 blah. Mm. And she doesn't understand what you're saying. Mm. You know, she might just think that you're calling a, a spirit or whatever. Mm. You know, it is what it is. You should just learn about your environment. Yeah. yeah. I've been there for like a while and I'm still learning. Every day you learn. That's true. And naturally, you know aloud. We Africans, we are very loud. Even yeah. when we're having a normal conversation, we yeah. just. We're, we're really loud so it's crazy it's crazy we I should feel bad for mm, we should do better we should do better but what, i also feel bad for that guy because he mm, could have been avoided mm, it's so now you know see that embarrassment now mm. and i've seen that a couple of times you know coming back from work especially that Romford station mm. they will stand at the you know at the entrance of the station people they've been working all day eight hours ten hours looking forward to go home have a nice drink and you know go to bed but yeah. you're shouting in their faces screaming me i'm used to it you know, if I want your pamphlet, I will take it. If I don't want to take it, I will yeah. just, I will ignore you. Yeah. But people are not like, don't be shouting at people's faces. People you know? are not the same. You, know, you, don't, you can't force people. You can, you know, do your preaching. It's cool, but you can't force people to listen to you. That's they true. don't have to listen to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need to, you need to work on. Yeah. And The way we even carry religion back at home mm. is way different. Mm. Oh my gosh. And I also have a, I also believe that, Religion is different from your relationship with God. Mm. I don't have to shout so loudly mm. because I'm praying for my neighbors to know that I'm praying before mm. I know that, before they should know that I'm, I don't have to be on top of my voice screaming mm. such that my neighbors can hear me screaming before you can mm. believe that, oh, she's a Christian or she's praying. Mm. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying. Mm. I don't think you have to disrupt mm. other people's lives mm. especially on the public transport mm. see mm. ha remember what mommy said about niger yeah. churches yeah i remember when mommy came and we were going for a walk and she said ah, i do go in like how come there are no churches like, we have <laughs> to go far away like if it was back at home there will be at least four churches even, in different even segments. in london even in london in like you know dagenham or you know we have like three, four, five different redeemed churches, but no problem. Yeah. You know, no problem about but the thing is most most of most of the white people you live around, they're not used to that kind of yeah, noise. Yeah. You know, we are used to it. Yeah. Like you show sure everything, but you know, it's just you should just be considerate so that it won't lead you to where you don't want to. That's uh, right. You don't want to be a, Yeah. You know, look at that lady now. She's back in Nigeria now, or starting all over again. Well, that's sad. It's really sad after spending you know, a lot of money to to move to the UK and to get deported or sent back home, or to That's lose really to lose sad. your to lose your work permit on yeah. something that could have been avoided. Avoided, yeah. Nah, we should need to. We should just be careful. I feel sorry for her, but it is what it is.
Mm. It is what it is. So. Me, I'm praying to God, Sha. Mm. I'm praying to God because me, I've had bad experiences when it comes to Nigerian pastors. Mm. I can't even stand them. Even if you're if you're truly called by God, I don't even I won't even trust you. And that's me personally. I've had you know a series of different experiences. Most of them are even worse than me that I don't go to church. They are worse. It's just that pastor is just is a title to me, you know. And people get carried away at the same time, forgetting that they are they are humans. Yes. So when they do what human beings, you know, they are shocked. They'll be shocked because like, why are you shocked? Yeah, you know, they, like yeah, you. they see them like yeah, oh my daddy, my this thing. Like they are humans. Like they cheat as well. They sleep around. They do all that. No, I me. Mean, I've had personal experiences with different pastors. That's why me. If I have to go, if I have, to, if I want to be going to church now, it's, it would be a Catholic church or maybe an English church. Mm. That one. Well, and the day I see a black pastor on the pulpit, me in Ilomo, that's just me. Don't, don't. No, believe, no, don't, don't talk don't to me. Don't believe in your pastors. Believe yeah. in God. Believe in um, Jesus uh -huh. Christ, His Son. Mm. Okay. Anyway, so, more so, so that I don't want people to come and attack me. Yeah, it's my own experiences and um, you know things I've seen in this life. Yeah, uh -huh, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying, I'm not judging anyone. But let us know in the comments, guys. Mm. Have you experienced this as well in the UK? Mm. Like, have you been on the bus or train mm. or you know maybe maybe on the streets and you've experienced you know Nigerians preaching loudly or other people preaching loudly? Like, have you experienced this before? And how did you feel mm. about it? Please let us know in the comments as well. If you have to preach on the bus, please do your thing, but make sure you're not like just be considerate uh -huh. of other make people. Make sure that the speaker or whatever is called is not too loud. Yeah. And I've seen people do it, they will just hand over pamphlet and order. Mm. Because everything you're going to say, you can put it in a paper yeah. and just hand it over to, to yeah. people. Whoever collects it from you will read it. That's and right. and will like away anyway. Mm -hmm. So you can just do better, just be considerate. I mean, I want to make parry, you know, when you bono parry, you know, I've seen a lot of white people making unnecessary noises as well. Mm. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if the better image the law, see lay job, you will dare do when you bola, or me so long you So that's why you just have to be, you know, be considerate, just focus on yourself and, yeah. and do what you have to do so that you won't find yourself where you don't want to find yourself. You by your shell, always remember that. So yeah. You know, you should just be careful. And, yeah. You know, all Just wanted to share my experience, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Remember, Vlogmas is on. <sighs> <laughs> Bye, guys. See you on the next one. <laughs>